Hey guys, in this video we're going to go through some mobility exercises for older golfers. Okay, here we go. So mobility, being able to move around joints, okay, really important for golf, uh, or particularly for golfers, it's rotational, and we don't often do that in everyday life, so we can become really restricted, okay? Uh, we can make things difficult, tight enough as it is, enable with normal movements, let alone anything rotational. So here's a few exercises you can do with no equipment to improve your mobility. So first up, we're going to do a glute stretch. So we we'll down onto our back. Cross one hand, put it in the knee, okay? So pull up towards your head. Now you should feel this around the hip of the leg that's crossed over. You want to be relaxed during each of these stretches. We're just going to hold it for about five, six deep breaths, okay? So nice and relaxed. Five, six deep breaths, and then soften to the other side, okay? Next up, we're going to do one for the trunk. So we're going to do an open book. So we're going to put that onto our side. Knees up in line with the hips, okay, nice and high, hand on top of each other. You can pop something under your head if you need to, to support your neck. Otherwise, deep breath in, breathe out and open the hand up, round, down towards the ground, okay, and then back up under control. Making sure that these knees don't come up, okay, keep your knees down, you can have something under your knee if you need to, to keep it in place. Okay, breathe out, open up, round, aim to get down towards the ground. Don't worry if you get nowhere near. Just working on where it's comfortable for you to begin with. So, breathe out, reach round under control, and then come back up. Okay, and then exactly the same on the other side as well. So next up we're going to do a hip flexor stretch. Okay, so hip flexor and side trunk, so we're going to take a big step forwards, okay. Pushing the hips forwards there, nice and tall upper body. Feeling this high up on this back leg, then we're just going to raise the same arm up and add a little side lean in over the top. Okay, so feeling this one down the side and then hip flexor down the front. Okay, just holding this position here. Using something to balance against um, is recommended, and we're just going to take a few deep breaths and make sure we're nice and relaxed. Okay, and exactly the same on the other side. So next up, we're going to do a lat stretch. Okay, so lats, big lat muscle. Okay, so hand onto the wall. Okay, about shoulder height. Step back hips backwards, and then chest down, head down between your arms. Okay, we're just holding this position. Shift for this round of the lats, okay? You might feel it even down the back to the legs. But what we want to do is make sure we have nice straight back posture, that you have soft knees, bent knees, uh, would help to, and just dropping your chest down towards the ground, and just again, holding this position, five or six deep breaths. Next up, we're gonna do a chest stretch, okay? So you can do this up against the door frame or wall. I'll show you the wall as it's here. So, elbow, about shoulder height, or if anything, slightly higher, okay? Forearm against the wall, step forwards and turn away, okay? Making sure you feel the stretch across the front of the shoulder and towards the chest and the pec, okay? And again, nice and balanced, nice and controlled, uh, just a mild stretch, nothing too, too forceful or painful, and just five, six deep breaths on each side. 